Hi everyone. For question 25, state the condition of the continuity of a function at x equals to a. So we have to state out the definition of continuity where number 1, f a is defined. Then number 2, limit as x approaches a is as is. Number three, f a must equals to the limit as x approaches a of the function. So here we get the two marks, where the first two we get one marks, and another one, the last one we get another one marks by using the condition of the continuity for the f x and x equals to a. Find the value of m and n such that this function is continuous. Now we're going to draw our piecewise function in a in the world so that we can measure our function for x less than 0 the function is n minus 2 cos x for the interval between 0 and 2 the function will be 2 plus m x squared for the interval more than 2 it will be the function of m minus x x equals to 0 where the limit has x opposite 0 from the left hand side function selected is n minus 2 cos x must be equals to limit as x approaches 0 from the right hand side function selected will be 2 plus m x square and this limit must be equals to the point f0 then we substitute the 0 and cos 0 will equals to 1 therefore n minus 2 equals to substitute the 0 here value is 2 therefore we manage to find n is equals to 4 then we will continue for the next point where x equals to 2 when x equals to 2 the limit approaches 2 from the left hand side which is 2 plus mx squared must be equals to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right hand side for m minus x and this limit must be equal to the point of 2 where the point x equals to 2 is occur in this function so this have to equal to the f2 then we substitute x equals to 2 we will get 2 plus 4m equals to m minus 2 simplify this answer we will get 3m equals to negative 4 finally we get m equals to negative 4 over 3 now we discuss how we going to score these six marks our limit left hand side equals to right hand side equals to this point we will get one mark and we manage to simplify our limit to get this one mark for the answer of n equals to 4 is one mark then for the second part where the limit for x approaches 2 is 1 mark then we simplify that the limit we get this equation this is 1 mark then finally the answer m equals to negative 4 over 3 so that is the another mark for question d given that m equals to negative 2 and n equals to 4 we want to determine that whether the function is it differentiable at x equals to 2 if you want to determine the function is it differentiable of 2 the first principle must be exist when the first principle exists means in removing the idea of limit at x equals to 2 must be exist so we notice that for x equals to 2 here When limit at x approaches 2 from the left hand side, the function selected is this. And the answer for this limit will be 2 minus 2 times 4, which is negative 6. Meanwhile, for limit as x approaches 2 from the right hand side, the function selected is negative 2, negative x. So the answer will become negative 2 minus negative 2, negative 4. 
notice that the limit from the left hand side and limit from the right hand side of 2 is does not same means the limit is not exists. When the limit of a function as x approaches 2 does not exist, indirectly tell us our first principle does not work. Therefore, we can conclude that this function is not differentiable at x equals to 2. So the idea of finding the limit from left hand side of the 2 and right hand side of the 2, you get 1 max. Then the answer here is 1 max. Since we know that the limit is, does not exist because the left sided limit and right sided limit does not same, therefore we come to the conclusion that it is not differentiable at x equals to 2. That's all.